tutorial today's video is very special for those people who actually don't know how to update a custom ROM without losing data so let's get started here I am using LM Odroid and which is official version and we have another update I already downloaded the upgraded version so let me show you that here okay let me show you that one update is available here uh, which were the previously installed 13 November now we have 4 December update and I already downloaded it and if you want to download it from here you can download without any problem but after downloading you will get a zip file that means the ROM file and this one is vanilla build and that's why we need to install GFs separately and remember one thing when we are going to update I will show you the simple process uh, which is 100% working and you can upgrade through your uh, orange fox recovery if it is OTA supported and don't think about OTA supporting system uh, just follow my process you don't need to do anything just download the package the latest package of, of the ROM which you are currently using so i already downloaded the file the updated version and i'm installing this one and i have all this application just uh, watch it and don't say i am doing something wrong or some uh bluffing so let's get started and remember one thing i am using here the vanilla build that's why i have to flash g apps and remember one thing which is very very important the g apps version which you flashed earlier you have to flash that g apps again when you are going to update the ROM after flashing ROM you have to flash G apps so let me boot my device into recovery so my device already booted into recovery mode now I am going to flash the custom ROM just remember this thing you don't need to wipe anything just navigate to the folder you have downloaded your ROM file okay let me show you here is the file which is LM or draw it. Let me select that file first and which is the latest build. I'm going to flash this. Actually, I'm going to update this. I'm updating it. So let it be flashed. So the room is flashing. You guys can see here. Patching system Im image unconditionally. flashing process almost done just restoring extra files now it's restoring other things if you don't flash anything like uh, you don't flash any gaps or magic I already rooted my device and that's why it's reflashing or restoring the previous files that's why uh, it's taking time and you guys can see here uh, flashing a new boot image that means now magics uh, flashed everything is done and if you want to flash G, uh, nick gaps or g apps which you previously uh, installed on your current rom you can flash that right now okay i'm going to flash here is the nick gaps which i previously installed and which is one this one nick gaps core previously i installed just let it be flashed if you don't flash I think there will be no problem but for making it sure that's why I'm installing this flashing process completed now click on reboot system Here is the LMO Droid boot animation. So device is booting. So device finally booted. Now let me show you everything is okay or not. So this is the updated version over the older one. Let me show you now. Here is the about section. So this is the November 1 security update and here is the user debug and build number.
Now let me show you the update. You can also update file from here as well. 20 November. Here is the 4 December file now. It's updated. You can see here. So we actually did manually. This update is a manual process and Madix is already uh, restored and everything I previously installed that universal safety net fix. I already showed, made, a, made the video how you guys can pass safety net on uh, LMO droid, CR droid and other any other custom room you guys can follow that process. If you miss the video check out description and let me show you safety net passed or not. If you face any issues, then let me know in the comment section below. So everything is fine here. So thank you for watching.